For many of the people leaving correctional facilities, the search for employment is often blocked by overwhelming barriers. These include the lack of formal education, a limited work history, and employer prejudice toward people with criminal records. People who help offenders overcome these barriers need a comprehensive set of workforce development skills. These skills need to be used in the context of a partnership among criminal justice, faith-based, and community organizations. No single agency can meet all the needs of offenders returning to the community. As a manager of a correctional facility in the local community, it's been very important for us to have the OWDS partnership with NIC. Through that partnership, we've opened up jurisdictional boundaries that wouldn't normally be open to us. We work with the federal system, we're working with the state system, and the local uh, vendors in the community. Um, all together, we're building a system within our state that's going to be very effective at helping offenders to become more employable. Because of our country's high rate of recidivism and the pressing need to prepare offenders for their re-entry into the workforce, the National Institute of Corrections and the National Career Development Association join forces to develop a competency-based training program for prison and community-based workforce development professionals. The program is designed to provide participants with the knowledge and skills required to deliver effective workforce development services, promote interagency collaborations intended to increase positive employment outcomes, and help participant teams plan for the replication of the training in their communities. Upon application and invitation, 10 to 12 person teams from four states or local jurisdictions are convened for classroom instruction and planning sessions. The instruction and planning sessions require a commitment of two to three weeks. These intensive week-long sessions are separated by at least 30 days to allow participants to attend to critical work needs. The time between sessions is also used to complete e-learning and practicum assignments, which require an additional 72 to 108 hours. The first block of classroom instruction provides participants with the basic skills and competencies needed by career development professionals in all fields. This includes an in-depth review of career development theory and the opportunity to explore personal interests and characteristics. The use of facilitation skills, the role of assessment in career planning and job placement, and group facilitation skills are the other competencies learned in the first block of instruction. The training combines lecture with small group activities, giving each student an opportunity to practice and use the skills acquired. Following the first block of training, students are given a series of practicum and reading assignments. These include the preparation of a written journal and videotaped activities, which are later reviewed by the program's instructors. In the subsequent blocks of training, the participants are given instruction in the identification and management of barriers, ethics, transitions and interventions, job seeking and employability, job retention, and the design and implementation of training and workforce development services. As a senior manager at the Office of Probation and Pretrial Services at the Administrative Office, we have had the opportunity to get our staff really involved in offender workforce development. And this training that NIC has put together has really served as the catalyst and, and kind of an organizing theme for our staff to get on board. While we've always uh, seen employment as an important part of our work, in offender reentry and in supervision of offenders, uh, this program has really sort of jump-started the whole, the whole issue. And we now have at least 25 districts who have sent officers through, more than 100 officers in total, and we see that number continuing to grow. It's been a really great experience for our staff. As a manager in a one-stop center in Dallas, Texas, it has meant the world to us and how we deliver our services understanding what the offender population really needs and being able to give it to them. I would recommend this OWDS training to all one-stop managers. As co-director of a faith-based, community-based organization, working with individuals coming out of incarceration, the OWDS training was an integral part of our holistic model that we've developed in working with the faith community. This has been such an awesome program and has made such a difference not only in the lives of the people we serve, but also activating the faith community. The successful completion of training is celebrated with a graduation and a recognition of each student's accomplishment. 
No less important than the competencies achieved through the training are the professional relationships that emerge during the learning process. We are confident that these relationships will endure, giving participants a national network of professionals to call upon when they are problem-solving in their home states.